This segment is sponsored by Reston Hospital Center. Scoliosis is a condition that can develop during childhood or in early teen years and can result in serious spinal pain among other tough symptoms. We spoke to a local woman who dealt with scoliosis throughout her whole life. And thanks to the Center for Scoliosis and Spinal Deformity at Reston Hospital Center, she is finally living pain free. I'm great. I'm great. I'm practically pain free. 59 year old Barbara Jones has waited a long time to say those words. She's been battling spinal issues and pain most of her life, undergoing her first surgery at age 15 after developing scoliosis. So the scoliosis got to the point where we had to do something. So they, they corrected it as much as they could. They put in back then what was considered technology. They put in a hearing to rods. And since I was only 15, I made a full recovery. But in 2016, when she was 53, Barbara developed a severe pain flare that just wouldn't go away. It was just pain 24 seven and the pain would go down my leg and it, it was excruciating and debilitating. That's when she sought out the advice of a spinal surgeon, only to hear that her condition had gotten so bad, surgery was the only option. The discs in my spine between the vertebral bones had degenerated, degenerated degenerative disc disease. There weren't any left, there was one disc left. So each bone was sitting on top of each bone and pinching the nerves. So when it came time for surgery, there was only one place she knew she needed to go for the best care for her complex spine condition the Center for Scoliosis and Spinal Deformity at Reston Hospital Center. They opened up where the bones were sitting on each other. They opened them up, replaced what with a um, artificial disc where there was no disc left. And more importantly, they, they gave me my height back. They gave me the disc space left. And then they were able to angle the disc, the artificial discs up a little bit because I was so hunched forward. We're so lucky here. We have the best medicine here in Northern Virginia <laughs> and Washington, DC. Uh, the surgical team, the surgeon and the team I chose, which I felt would be the best for me, that specialized in my kind of deformity only do surgery here. We have advanced technology, we have robotic systems, we have a visit and clinician program, and we have the most advanced surgical team uh, in the area. That technology is this robotic system. Reston Hospital was the nation's first hospital to acquire not one, but two of the Mazer X Stealth Editions and performed the world's first spinal fusion using the surgical driven robotic technology. We wanted to see this robotic system firsthand. So Fabi Cerati, the hospital's specialty service line nursing expert for spine and neurosurgery, gave us a quick run through on how the robotic technology works in the operating room. So what happens is we get CT scans pre-op and then we get uh, x-ray, which is floral. They all match up when we do the blueprint for the surgery. So the arm right here helps the surgeon assist where the treachery of the screws, the pedicle screws and everything will go. So using the technology like this, how does it help? Is it, you said more precise, but is it cut down on time? Is it it cut down on time, it's more precise. Um, and it's basically, it's guided to each patient because each patient has a different anatomy. So the blueprint for each patient will be more exact. So it cuts down time and better positive outcomes in at the end for surgery. Patient navigator Ashley Maliarakis explains how Reston's surgical team takes advantage of the robotic technology to serve more patients. We are able to handle um, any surgery from the base of your skull all the way to the tip of your tailbone. They are very, very precise machines. You think of robot and you think of something from Back to the Future, but um, they're these surgical instruments that have a screen that are able to almost surgically plan and kind of guide the direction of, of the screws and hardware that are going into these patients. Our team here is comprised of nationally recognized spine surgeons um, and because we see so much volume, which is kind of a like little known, unknown secret, um, that our little hospital can handle the volume of over 1,600 spine patients a year. So we are constantly seeing this population come in, so you become very good at that. Reston Hospital Center has been rated five star for spinal fusion surgery by health grades for the last seven years. The Spine Center is certified and has received the National Gold Seal of Approval from the Joint Commission that accredits more than 22,000 healthcare facilities in the U.S. And Reston Hospital Center has also received the Patient Safety Excellence Award from Health Grades four years in a row.
This award recognizes the nation's top hospitals for patient safety. What you think of how many spine patients come in and out and you're thinking, wow, well, maybe they have higher infection rates or maybe they have higher complication rates and it's exactly the opposite. Our infection rates are in the one, one to two percentile. Um, our, our revision surgeries are, are extremely low. The technology that they were able to offer to do my surgery here allowed me to go right home instead of if I had chosen another place I would have probably gone to a rehab for two weeks. Barbara is now back to living her active lifestyle that included running, cycling and scuba diving one pain-free step at a time. Such an amazing recovery story for Barbara. For more information about the Center for Scoliosis and Spinal Deformity, visit restinhospital.com.